Hi everyone, this is Nathan with TheEbookReader.com. So yesterday I posted this uh, video and a tutorial about rooting the Kindle Fire and installing the Android Market and how easy it was thanks to this great utilities that the devs over at uh, XDA have made available, the Kindle Fire utility. Just download it to your computer and you can uh, root your Kindle and install the Android Market in a matter of minutes. It's a, a great tool and another thing you can do with it is you can install the TWRP recovery. So that's probably the next thing you're going to want to do right after rooting and then uh, once you do that, you can install this package. So that's what I'm going to focus on with this video, what you can do with the recovery package and how you can use it to uh, recreate backups and install custom ROMs for other versions of Android on the Kindle Fire. So basically, you just plug your Kindle back into your computer and then start this uh, Kindle Fire utility backup. And uh, you get the status online, you're good to go after you've rooted, of course. And then um, you can install the TWRP recovery. And just make sure to follow the directions carefully or reboot your Kindle. And you'll have to uh, hit reboot on your Kindle. You'll see some different screens. Uh, just make sure to follow the on-screen prompts uh, carefully. And then you'll have that um, installed in no time. So what it does is after you um, get everything booted up, you're back to normal essentially. You still have all the exact same thing you had before you installed it. What it does is it installs a recovery when you turn on your Kindle. So when you turn it off, you just turn off your Kindle like normal. Or let's shut it down actually. shut down and then once we start it back up you'll see um, what has changed so we'll get this yellow triangle now um, right when you see that yellow triangle you need to hold down the power button until it turns orange and then it will automatically launch the um, recovery so it'll take it a few seconds and every time after you install twerp it will show this icon on the kindle as it boots up um, and then for a few seconds then it'll go into this once you uh, activate it and we'll get some different options in here. So the number one thing you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to create a backup of your existing Kindle. So um, once you install ROMs, you can go back to your Kindle exactly how it was before. It essentially takes a snapshot of everything of how it was, so you're not going to lose your apps or anything. You can just go back to that at any time. So you just go into Backup, and then it already has them selected here. You can select some additional stuff if you'd like. I just uh, stick with the default, hit Backup Now, and it will go ahead and back up your system. And you'll see the little progress indicator down here. It'll take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to when it's done. Another thing you can do, you can actually watch the code as it's going right here. It'll show you um, what you're doing if you hit that little code icon up there. So I'll go ahead and fast forward when this is done. Okay, so it'll take it a couple of minutes, and once it's done, it'll say your backup is successful, and you can return to the main menu from here. So anytime you want to restore your Kindle now, if you're in, after installing ROMs or doing whatever, you go to the restore, and it'll list your restore package. You can see right here I uh, uh, also backed it up yesterday, and then I backed it up right there. So you just hit this, and you can go back and restore your Kindle to exactly how it was uh, when you created that restore image. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to um, installing a custom ROM. So uh, first thing, like I said, when you open up Twerp is you're going to want to go to the backup if you've done anything and you want to keep your existing operating system how it was. And the next thing you're going to want to do if you're installing your ROM is you're going to go to Wipe, um, Factory Reset. So this will go ahead and wipe the data on your Kindle. This will take uh, just a few seconds here. It won't take long at all. So go ahead and do the Factory Reset. And then we'll go back here. So, And then we'll go back to the um, main menu here. There's a little icon up here for the home. So then we go into install here. So I've already went ahead and used my Kindle Fire to download some different ROM packages and you place them on the SD card portion of the Kindle Fire. So it has an internal SD card portion. This portion actually won't get erased when you do the factory resets or anything So or install the other ROMs. It'll all still be intact and your files will still be in there so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, just to make sure you erase all that if you're going to give your Kindle away or anything. But anyway, so we just come in here to install a new ROM. Let's go ahead and just install one of these really quickly here. We'll just hit um, what the one I want. I got CM7 on here, different uh, version. Uh, we got MIUI, the four, Android 4.0 version. I'll do some different videos actually showing these in action, but for this video I'm just going to show how to use Twerp basically. Um, so you just select one, hit flash, and then you'll get some um, codes right here. Make sure to place those files, like I said, on the internal SD card of your Kindle. And then you can go ahead and flash it here, and you'll get some um, stuff down here. A lot of times it'll say, like, cannot load volume. Don't worry about that stuff. It's actually not an issue. Um, it doesn't sound promising, but it's not a problem at all because um, it's actually installing it right here and you got the progress indicator which will start uh, showing the um, restore going on here right now. Um, here we go, the starting to go up. Okay, so once it's finished, um, it may say, like it says, cannot load volume miscellaneous, don't worry about that, it's good to go. So another thing you're going to want to do before proceeding is wipe cache Dalvik right here. Okay, so once that wipe is complete, just go back here and then 
we're, we're good to go basically. Just go back to the main menu and then hit uh, reboot. And system or power off, just hit system and it will reboot the Kindle. Um, like I said, every time your Kindle boots up now, you'll see this. If you don't hit the power button and hold it till the orange icon uh, comes on, it'll just automatically go ahead and boot up like normal. So then it'll go ahead, if you had uh, your Kindle, just the regular operating system, you get the Kindle file logo, a uh, Kindle Fire logo after this. And then um, if you install different ROM, like uh, the CM7 right now, it'll show a CM7 logo. And then uh, with other uh, uh, ROMs, you'll get different logos right after boot up right here. So that's basically how you install custom ROMs using the Twerp Recovery. Uh, it's just extremely easy. And then so say you get rid of this ROM, you just go back in again. If you want to create a backup, you can. If not, just go ahead and do a factory reset and then go ahead and install another ROM or you can restore your Kindle to what the image you had before or the file you had before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, check out the ebookreader.com. Like I said, I'll have the tutorials on there as always and more information.